everybody, welcome to round two of round two of the water comparison series. We have five more bottles of water. All five of these beat a different bottle in round one. And um, so we're going to compare all five of them, see which one tastes the best. First up is Deja Blue. This is the bottle that looks like Dasani is sort of, in my opinion. The font in the bottle just looks similar to me, and it's like a darker shade uh, tinted on the bottle. Came in a pack of 24. It's kind of a cheap bottle, but good quality still. Next up is Resource Water. Uh, this is a Nestle brand water. I originally reviewed this in February. You know, this was originally part of round one, but I had to disqualify it for a little bit because I couldn't find it for sale anywhere. <laughs> but um, I recently found it again in a store, so I bought it and it's undisqualified. It's back in the game. Next up is Trader Joe's Pure New Zealand Water. This is a huge one gallon container. And you can see there's only a tiny bit left because this is the same bottle from around one. Um, I didn't finish it all because I was comparing it to a whole other gallon of water. You know, I was doing two gallons of water. I, I didn't finish two gallons in the one video. So instead of buying a whole other bottle, I'm just going to use what's left from round one. Saves me a trip to Trader Joe's. Next up is another Trader Joe's bottle, Alkaline Water Plus Electrolytes, and it's a darker, it's another tinted bottle, sort of like Deja Blue, but uh, not as dark. And it's uh, got like a rounded top, like, sort of like Smart Water. Next up is Smart Sense Purified Water. This is a Niagara brand of water, it's created by Ni Niagara bottling company and it's sold at Kmart. This is like a really cheapo brand and I think it's sold in a 24 pack or a 36 pack. It's really cheap water. So let's just open them up, start comparing them. You know, I, already, I already talked about all these in round one so there's not much else to say about them. Deja Blue. <laughs> Haven't had this in a while. That is a good water. Good water. Uh, resource. I rewatched the review for this right before I'm making this video, and I didn't say that much positive stuff about about this water. So let's see if um let's see if I was right. Yeah, this tastes um. Just like regular um, Nestle water, just like the really um, tastes just like a bottle you'd expect from from this kind of um, water bottle. It's, it's not um, anything special. Okay, let's try the pure New Zealand water. Very good. It's an artisan water. It's got pictures of like the New Zealand mountains on there. And they say it's pure New Zealand. It's a product of New Zealand. And they say, ah, New Zealand, the rolling green pastures, towering snow capped mountains. And they just say a bunch of stuff about New Zealand. <laughs> okay, the other. Trader Joe's bottle. So this is a, um, it says it has electrolytes on the bottle. Normally that, that's a bad thing. Normally I'm not a fan of electrolytes. Um, I like just pure water. But this one, it's not very strong. The, there's not like a ton of electrolytes. So, um, it's pretty good. It's not, it's not like overwhelming. The Kmart water. Kmart's, most of them around the country are shutting down. So this water might not exist for much, much longer. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, pretty standard. Nothing special about it. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with it either. It's not, you know, not a bad water. But I'm going to eliminate the Smart Sense first. Just because it's like so many other Niagara brands. Um, I've reviewed, I feel like I've reviewed this bottle so many times. They just put a different label on it. Um, so, yeah, Smart Sense is out. Next up, I'm going to eliminate the resource water. I mean, I would just call this tap water, basically. Um, this is like a dollar for this bottle, but all you're paying for is just a thicker plastic, really. It tastes, like I, in the first video I said, this tastes exactly like the cheaper Nestle bottles. The water tastes exactly the same. You're just paying extra for the, um, the thicker plastic. It's almost like a sweet taste to this. I think this is from the store Shop and Save. Not that it matters. I mean, it doesn't really matter where you buy water. tough. Um, all three of these are pretty good. It's pretty similar. Yeah, this has, I'm going to eliminate this one. Trader Joe's alkaline water. It has a 9.5 pH, which should be good. Um, but like I was saying, there's like a sweet taste to it. Sort of like strawberries or something. <laughs> Which is, um, excuse me, if you want like a fruit juice, might be good. But that's not a good thing for a water. So, I'm going to eliminate this one. Okay, Deja Blue, Trader Joe's. I like both of these, really. Um, you know, I, I bought a whole case of this, 24, <clears throat> and I only have a few left. I, I, once I started these, I went through them really quick. Um, I'm just saving them in case it goes on to the future rounds. Okay, I'm going to say the winner is the New Zealand water. Just tastes better. I wish I was, like, better at describing why it's better. It's just, you know, like, 1% better, you know. It's also a pretty good value. You're getting a lot of water for the price. It's got this nice handle also. And um, I guess what it comes down to is if I was... You know, if I was in the store and had to pick one of these, I would go with the New Zealand one. Um, this one's not bad at all, but yeah, New Zealand is um, the winner. Thanks for watching.